Kushwant Singh born Kushal Singh the 15th of August 1915 to the 20th of March 2014 was an Indian author lawyer diplomat journalist and politician His experience in the 1947 partition of India inspired him to write Train to Pakistan in 1956 made into film in 1998 which became his most well-known novel Born in Punjab Kushwant Singh was educated in New Delhi and studied law at St Stephen's College Delhi and King's College London after working as a lawyer in Lahore court for eight years, he joined the Indian Foreign Service upon the independence of India from British Empire in 1947. He was appointed journalist in the All India Radio in 1951, and then moved to the Department of Mass Communications of UNESCO at Paris in 1956. These last two careers encouraged him to pursue a literary career. As a writer, he was best known for his trenchant secularism, humour, sarcasm and an abiding love of poetry. His comparisons of social and behavior characteristics of Westerners and Indians are laced with acid wit. He served as the editor of several literary and news magazines, as well as two newspapers, through the 1970s and 1980s. Between 1980 to 1986 he served as member of parliament in Rajya Sabha, the upper house of the Parliament of India. Kushwant Singh was bestowed with the Padma Bhushan in 1974 but he returned the award in 1984 in protest against Operation Blue Star in which the Indian Army raided Amritsar. In 2007 he was awarded the Padma Vibhushan, the second highest civilian award in India. <laughs> Early life Kushwant Singh was born in Hadali, Kashab district, Punjab which now lies in Pakistan, in a Sikh family. He was the younger son of Sir Soba Singh and Viran Bhai. Births and deaths were not recorded in his time, and for him his father simply made up 2 February 1915 for his school enrollment at Modern School, New Delhi. But his grandmother Lakshmi Bhai asserted that he was born in August, so he later set the date for himself as 15 August. Soba Singh was a prominent builder in Luchans Delhi. His uncle Sardar Ujjal Singh was previously governor of Punjab and Tamil Nadu. His birth name, given by his grandmother, was Kushal Singh meaning, prosperous lion. He was called by a pet name, Shali. At school his name earned him ridicule as other boys would mock at him with an expression, Shali Shuli, Bog D. Moali, meaning, this shali or shuli is the radish of some garden. He chose Kushwant so that it rhymes with his elder brother's name Bhagwant. He declared that his new name was self-manufactured and meaningless. But he later discovered that there was a Hindu physician with the same name, and the number subsequently increased. He entered Delhi Modern School in 1920 and studied there till 1930. There he met his future wife, Kawal Malik, one year his junior. He continued higher education at Government College, Lahore, St. Stephen's College in Delhi and King's College London, before reading for the bar at the Inner Temple. <laughs> <laughs> Career Kushwant Singh started his professional career as a practicing lawyer in 1939. He worked at Lahore Court for eight years. In 1947 he entered Indian Foreign Service for the newly independent India. He started as Information Officer of the Government of India in Toronto, Canada. He was Press Attaché and Public Officer for the Indian High Commission for four years in London and Ottawa. In 1951 he joined the All India Radio as a journalist. Between 1954 and 1956 he worked in Department of Mass Communication of the UNESCO at Paris. From 1956 he turned to editorial services. He founded and edited Yojana, an Indian government journal in 1951-1953, the Illustrated Weekly of India, a newsweekly, and two major Indian newspapers, the National Herald and the Hindustan Times. During his tenure, the Illustrated Weekly became India's preeminent newsweekly, with its circulation raising from 65,000 to 400,000. After working for nine years in the weekly, on 25 July 1978, a week before he was to retire, the management asked Singh to leave, with immediate effect. A new editor was installed the same day. After Singh's departure, the weekly suffered a huge drop in readership. In 2016 Kushwant Singh enters Limca Book of Records as a tribute. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Politics. From 1980 to 1986, Singh was a member of Rajya Sabha, the upper house of the Indian Parliament. He was awarded the Padma Bhushan in 1974 for service to his country. In 1984, he returned the award in protest against the siege of the Golden Temple by the Indian Army. In 2007, the Indian government awarded Kushwant Singh the Padma Vibhushan. As a public figure, Singh was accused of favouring the ruling Congress party, especially during the reign of Indira Gandhi. He was derisively called an establishment liberal. Singh's faith in the Indian political system was shaken by the anti-Sikh riots that followed Indira Gandhi's assassination, in which major Congress politicians are alleged to be involved, but he remained resolutely positive on the promise of Indian democracy and worked via Citizens' Justice Committee floated by H. S. Fulka who is a senior advocate of Delhi High Court. Singh was a votary of greater diplomatic relations with Israel at a time when India did not want to displease Arab nations where thousands of Indians found employment. He visited Israel in the 1970s and was impressed by its progress. Personal life Singh was married to Kawal Malik. Malik was his childhood friend who had moved to London earlier. They met again when he studied law at King's College London, and soon got married. They had a son, named Rahul Singh, and a daughter, named Mala. His wife predeceased him in 2001. Actress Amrita Singh is the daughter of his brother Daljit Singh's son, Shavinder Singh and Rukshana Sultana. He stayed in Sujan Singh Park, near Khan Market New Delhi, Delhi's first apartment complex, built by his father in 1945, and named after his grandfather. His grandniece Tiska Chopra is a noted TV and film actress. Religious belief Singh was a self proclaimed agnostic. As the title of his 2011 book Agnostic Kushwant, There is No God Explicitly Revealed. He was particularly against organized religion. He was evidently inclined towards atheism, as he said, One can be a saintly person without believed in God and a detestable villain believing in him. In my personalized religion, there is no God. He also once said, I don't believe in rebirth or in reincarnation, in the day of judgment or in heaven or hell. I accept the finality of death." His last book The Good, The Bad and the Ridiculous was published in October 2013, following which he retired from writing. The book was his continued critique of religion and especially its practice in India, including the critique of the clergy and priests. It earned a lot of acclaim in India. Topic. Death Singh died of natural causes on 20 March 2014 at his Delhi residence, at the age of 98. His death was mourned by many including the President, Vice President and Prime Minister of India. He is survived by his son and daughter. He was cremated at Lodi Crematorium in Delhi at four in the afternoon of the same day. During his lifetime, Kushwant Singh was keen on burial because he believed that with a burial we give back to the earth what we have taken. He had requested the management of the Baha'i faith if he could be buried in their cemetery. After initial agreement, they had proposed some conditions which were unacceptable to Singh, and hence the idea was later abandoned. He was born in Hadali, Kashab district in the Punjab province of modern Pakistan, in 1915. According to his wishes, some of his ashes were brought and scattered in Hadali. In 1943, he had already written his own obituary, included in his collection of short stories posthumous. Under the headline, Sardar Kushwant Singh Dead, the text reads We regret to announce the sudden death of Sardar Kushwant Singh at 6 p.m. last evening. He leaves behind a young widow, two infant children, and a large number of friends and admirers. Amongst those who called at the late Sardar's residence were the PA to the Chief Justice, several ministers, and judges of the High Court. He also prepared an epitaph for himself, which runs, Here lies one who spared neither man nor God, waste not your tears on him, he was a sod, writing nasty things he regarded as great fun, thank the Lord he is dead, this son of a gun. He was cremated and his ashes are buried in Hadali school, where a plaque is placed bearing the inscription, 
In memory of Sardar Khushwant Singh 1915 a Sikh, a scholar and a son of Hadali Punjab, this is where my roots are. I have nourished them with tears of nostalgia. Honours and awards Rockefeller Grant, 1966 Padma Bhushan, Government of India 1974, he returned the decoration in 1984 in protest against the Union government's siege of the Golden Temple, Amritsar. Honest Man of the Year, Sulab International 2000. Punjab Ratan Award, the Government of Punjab 2006. Padma Vibhushan, Government of India 2007. Sahitya Akademi Fellowship by Sahitya Academy of India 2010. All India Minorities Forum Annual Fellowship Award by Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav 2012. Lifetime Achievement Award by Tata Literature Live. The Mumbai Litfest in 2013 Fellow of King's College London in January 2014 Works <laughs> <laughs> Books The Mark of Vishnu and Other Stories, Short Story 1950. The History of Sikhs, 1953 Train to Pakistan, Novel 1956. The Voice of God and Other Stories, Short Story 1957. I Shall Not Hear the Nightingale, Novel 1959. The Sikhs Today, 1959 the Fall of the Kingdom of the Punjab, 1962 A History of the Sikhs, 1963 Ranjit Singh, The Maharaja of the Punjab, 1963 Ghadar 1915, India's First Armed Revolution, 1966 A History of the Sikhs, 1966 second edition. A Bride for the Sahib and Other Stories, Short Story 1967. Black Jasmine, Short Story 1971. Tragedy of Punjab The Collected Stories of Kushwant Singh, N.P. Ravi Dayal Publisher, 1989 Delhi, A Novel, Novel 1990 Not a Nice Man to Know, The Best of Kushwant Singh, 1993 We Indians, 1993 Women and Men in My Life, 1995 Declaring Love in Four Languages, by Kushwant Singh and Sharda Kashik, 1997 India, An Introduction, by Kushwant Singh The Company of Women, Novel 1999 Truth, Love and a Little Malice An Autobiography, 2002 With Malice Towards One and All the End of India, 2003 Burial at the Sea, 2004 Paradise and Other Stories, 2004 A History of the Sikhs, 1469 1838, 2004 Death at My Doorstep, 2005 A History of the Sikhs, 1839 2004, 2005 The Illustrated History of the Sikhs, 2006 Why I Supported the Emergency, Essays and Profiles, 2009 The Sunset Club, Novel, 2010 Gods and Godmen of India, 2012 ISBN 978-9-350-29244-0 oh, Agnostic Kushwant, There is No God, 2012 ISBN 978-9-381-43111-5 five, The Good, The Bad and the Ridiculous, 2013 Co-authored with Humra Qureshi More Malicious Gossip 1989 Collection of Writings Sex, Scotch and Scholarship, 1992 Collection of Writings Big Book of Malice, 2000 Collection of Writings Kushwantnama, The Lessons of My Life 2013 The Freethinker's Prayer Book and Some Words to Live By, 2012 Topic. Short story The Portrait of a Lady The Strain Success Mantra A Love Affair in London Na Kahu Se Dosti Na Kahu Se Bar Topic. Play Television documentary, Third World — Free Press also presenter, Third Eye Series, 1983 UK. See also Karma — A short story by Kushwant Singh <laughs> Notes <laughs>